Hey guys, Carl at Technical Enduro Skills Training School. Exciting day today. Um, the bike is getting some TLC. The bike has done over 100 hours now. This is my seat sky bike. Um, so I'm at Dan's workshop, DMP, uh, Dan Miles Performance uh, in Surrey. And um, he's already done some work. You can see he's taken off the exhaust and all that stuff to get access to the engine because the bike is getting a brand new piston. In fact, it's already on. Uh, the other piston uh, is in the box there, looks perfectly fine. Dan tells me the barrel is, is absolutely mint, no issues at all. Um, yeah, considering you know that we've been doing quite a bit of riding with this bike, that's, um, that's really, really pleasant and surprising to hear. Um, I have been having some problems with the bike, um, and that came after installing the new KTM Extreme map that was just uh, released uh, recently. Um, what that map does is it adds um, additional oil when your bike is below 10 degrees uh, Celsius only during the startup sequence. And so I was having the issue of failing plugs. Uh, my other two bikes are fine. For, for some reason, this bike was failing plugs. But this bike um, at the time wasn't idling. And so I think, you know, I had multiple starts, which, which caused over oiling and it, and it, and it, and it failed. Um, that problem should be gone now because today, very exciting, we are fitting the two-stroke performance uh, head and ECU reflash as well as a new spark plug. Um, the bike is also getting a brand spanking new fan kit uh, because the other fan uh, was starting to play up a little bit. Uh, turns out that it could be just a simple fix, the, the connector, but we'll put a new fan on anyway. Um, and then we've, we're also replacing the Evans fluid. I run Evans Fluid in my um, coolant um, in my bike. Uh, it's a zero uh, water or a waterless coolant. It raises the boiling uh, temperature of the, the actual coolant. It just gives you a little bit of uh, room for error if, uh, if the bike gets warm at, at the worst of times um, so that it doesn't, doesn't boil over. Um, I'm not saying that's right or wrong. Some people have a different uh, mindset about they want to see the bike boil over, but um, do whatever works for you. Um, I've been running Evans uh, with uh, with no problems for you know about eight years, so um, so all good. So um, I'll take you over to the bench. We'll have a look at what's in the TSP kit, then we'll talk a little bit about what what the TSP kit's all about. So here we have the Two Stroke Performance kit. Um, I got this from Brad at Two Stroke Performance UK. You can find him on Facebook. I'll put the link down on the bottom. Um, I paid for this, so this is not a, a sponsored video or anything, um, but I'm very very excited about this. I did send my original uh, ECU to be reflashed, but in the end, I, um, I sent another uh, ECU, a brand new one, because I might want to move this kit to, from this bike to a new bike at some point, and I just didn't want the hassle of, um, of having to sort of do, you know, all, all kinds of weird things with ECUs, and so um, I thought, get a spare ECU, have this one reflashed, uh, fit the whole kit, and then I can move the whole kit to the next bike, because um, I'll very likely get a 2021 next. And so what they do is they reflash the, um, the ECU. You get a nice little sticker on there. Um, lots of warnings on here about uh, what the bike um, should be used for, what it should not be used for, etc. So have a look at that. In the box, you get a brand new spark plug. Uh, they run the BR, uh, BPR8 uh, EIX with this kit. That's recommended for this kit. There's a couple of other spark plugs also recommended for this kit. And then you also get the, the head. And I mean, this thing is an absolute thing of beauty. It's like a, a beautiful bronzy color, uh, machined uh, out of billet uh, um, aluminum. Uh, it comes in two parts. You have the base plate and uh, the top part of it. And the base plate comes in three variations, low compression, medium compression, and high compression. Medium compression, that's what this one is here, is sort of for most riders, most conditions. Uh, low compression, um, hardened euro only and high compression for faster riding, lots of airflow through the bike because it generates a lot more heat uh, and people at altitude. Um, but a stunning kit. Um, you get amazing instructions with the whole thing. So you get a PDF document that, it, that describes the fitting procedure and what should be done and what shouldn't be done, how to set it up, how to set your air bypass screw, um, how to do the, the, the throttle uh, adjust screw uh, mod. You also in the bag get a little screw uh, so that you can fit this ACE as a, um, an idle uh, adjuster um, on, your, on your bike. But um, yeah, overall, very professional product. Uh, the team in the UK, very easy to deal with. Um, the head office, I believe, is, is, is in Australia. So if you're somewhere else in the world, 
um, you know, you can ship your stuff there. They can do it for you as well. Um, but yeah, so we'll, um, I might, might do a bit of a time lapse and when, when Dan gets, gets going and, and fitting it all and, uh, and you guys will see. And then um, afterwards we'll do, a, we'll do a ride report and we'll compare a standard bike, my son's bike, uh, to my bike with the two fitted. Uh, our bikes are set up pretty much perfectly the same way. So it'll be a good comparison um, um, to ride uh, both bikes and see what they're like. So I just got the bike home from Dan's workshop. Uh, Dan did a great job, um, replaced the fuel filter in the tank. That was pretty dirty. Um, new piston, fresh piston. Um, cleaned up some of the wiring, uh, fresh Evans, new fan, a uh, few other bits and pieces, cleaned up the start switch as well. Fitted the two stroke performance kit um, and uh, it started on the button straight away, no problem, first time. Um, in the manual, when they, they send you the paperwork, um, they recommend some settings for the 250s and the 300s. The air bypass screw should be two to three turns out. Uh, we're currently somewhere around two and a half turns. Um, and so I'll fine tune that when I get to ride the bike. Um, we didn't want to rev the bike too much and all that sort of stuff with the new piston. So when I go to the track, I'll just just run it easy for a little while and then um, I'll, I'll dial in the settings there. We've also fitted the idle screw mod and so you know we're playing around with the with the idle um, and all that so um, look out for the next video the next video I'll be riding my son Jake's bike and this bike back to back Jake's bike is exactly the same bike but he's got um, still obviously his, his older piston in but his bike's done a few less hours than, than mine also he's significantly lighter than me so his bike works less um but for all intents and purposes the bikes are the same um and so we'll get a good comparison what the bike rides like with the two-stroke performance kit the head the reflashed um ecu versus the uh ktm uh, extreme map on the uh on the the exes and we'll play around with the engine maps as well and give you some feedback on what they do but overall um it looks to be a very good product the bike sounds more crisp it sounds a bit more meaty down on the bottom end and the mid, mid end. Um, very, very smooth uh, revving at the moment. Um, so I'm really looking forward to riding the bike.